Right, now listen, let's welcome our next guest, put a smile on his face as well, because he plenty of tips to keep us positive and keep our spirits up while we deal with another lockdown coming up and the new restrictions. Azzy, salam alaikum, welcome back to the show. Salam alaikum, Always a smile on your face, alhamdulillah. Right, listen, let's tackle the news today. Another lockdown coming. What's that going to mean? Same as before. Same as before. Same as before. But Is it going to have a bigger impact well, well, on people's mental well-being? Two, you know. two ways to look at it. We've been there before. We know what it's like, so we should know what to do this time. So that's one way of looking at it. The other way, which you just said, is, oh, is it going to be worse than before because, you know, we're looking at, because we're looking at all the negative stuff. But if you look at it from a, a positive perspective, which is, you know what, we've been there before, we know what we did, what worked, what didn't work, so this time we're going to make it work better for us. So that's the way to perhaps look at it rather than saying, oh, no, another, another lockdown. I mean, also, okay. it means, you know, when the, when the first lockdown happened, a lot of us started doing gardening instead of working. <laughs> so, okay. so obviously, employers and things have got a bit clever around those kind of things as well. Um, so it means really, you know, picking up from those pieces and actually mm -hmm. making sure it's effective. Absolutely. And y y there will be more work happening this time because I think, you know, people are more geared up. Employers are geared up. People at home are geared up now you know, with all the technology. So there will be a lot more work happening, but you can probably still go and do some of the other things because, you know what, you still haven't got the travel. If you're working from home, you haven't got that commute in the morning, in the evening, you know, all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's one of the recommendations now, isn't it? If you can work from home. I don't know if, if Boris said it, but I know Nicola in Glasgow, certainly in Scotland, said if you can work from home or just full stop, yeah. do that. Yeah, I think Gove said it this, uh, earlier today. So... Michael Gove, so you know, that's the recommendation. We're heading back to where we were. I think the news is trying not to make it as bad as before or make it sound as bad as before, but the reality is that's where we're going to end up. So what are the lessons, what, what we're looking at? The lessons is what I said earlier on, which is, you know what, look at what you did before, see what worked, dust it down and bring it back into play. The, the issue that I'm seeing, which has come up a few times now where people are starting to talk about this is, People are starting to catastrophize. I use this word you know, quite often where we start to think, oh, my God, you know, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And we start to think all the negative stuff, mm -hmm. and we play that in our heads over and over again, which actually makes you feel even worse. And it sure. just takes you down on that downward slope. So the thing to do is, well, there's two things you can do. One, write it down. Journal. Journal is a good way of actually getting mm -hmm. these thoughts out onto a bit of paper, and then you can look at them objectively as a third person. So that's the very first thing you can do. And from an Islamic perspective, you know, this is an opportunity to, you know what, do a bit more zikr. Sit down and focus on the zikr. Do a bit more praying. Do some reading of the, the Quran. Study the Quran in English. Mm. You know, if you don't understand, like I don't understand it, so it's a good time to spend 10 minutes just, just studying the Quran. So let me just tell you, so look, in a time there's a lot of people now, as you are well aware, that a lot of people now are suffering from stress, okay? Mm. So this is a, a, a problem in itself. So how can someone be productive when they're experiencing stress? Right, two things. One, stress is always there. It's the level of stress mm. which is the issue. So stress is, mm -hmm. we never get rid of stress in our life, uh, most of the time. So it's the, it's the level, it's the level that increases. The, the thing is, we, part of that stress is brought on by our own thinking and our own ways of doing things. So we allow ourselves to become stressed. Now, there are external factors which we have no control over, but we worry about them, which causes stress. So the first thing to do is to look at the things that you have no control over and look at the things you have control over. Uh, it's easy to say stop worrying about the things you have no control over, but focus on the things you, you have control over and figure out what you can do. Because when you figure out the things you can do and how to solve those, then you, you worry less about the things less. you have no control over. What, what but that's, people... that's, for the, that's for the younger generation. But when you've got the elder generation, sorry, no, when you've got the older generation, as well, this is a completely different kettle of fish because obviously self-isolation now, where you don't have the mixing of families coming together, for the older generation, that's very, very hard. It is very hard. And, and, and you know, my mother lives alone, you know, unfortunately, you know, she's, and she's 300 miles away. So, I, you know, I'm on the phone with her all the time. And fortunately, there's six siblings, and one lives close by. But we also have to be careful of the restrictions, you know, about going to visit her. But we are constantly on the phone. So, you know, so keeping in touch with people is really important. Use the technology. You know, it's not just phones. It's video calls now. You can talk to video calls. Oh, you... You've got those new things. What, I don't know what they're called. It's like, a, it's like a frame, isn't it? You can actually... 
instead, instead of Zoom, what, what's that thing called? Skype. No. No. Which one? Oh, they sit, they sit like little picture frames, and you can use them. It's oh, with the, the TV, the, yeah. the smart TV, TV yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I know the ones you make, and it looks as though you're actually in the room yeah. and all this kind of stuff. You can use, use the technology, get in touch with people, uh, make life easier for them because order stuff for them. You know, they're, they're shopping if they, if they need, get it ordered online, you know, get things sent around. You can still send flowers around and food around and cakes and what, everything you want to do. But your final tips to keep positive, you mentioned a few of them. Let's just go through them quickly. Write stuff down, start doing a journal. journal. Just get your thoughts out on your, you know, out of your head. Zikr, I absolutely believe, you know, that's a good time to do this. Right. Do your prayers and do, do some studying. Eat healthy. And that includes chocolate, believe it or not. Cooking but, healthy. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm learning, learning about I, I've, chicken, learned to, I've learned to cook. But eat, listen, you have to do that sometimes. Eat healthy. Uh, the chocolate's actually quite good. If you can get the ones with low sugar, you know, high dark chocolate. Very good, Anna. very good for the dopamine. Helps you. Uh, I should mention brands, but anyway. <laughs> helps you. Uh, <laughs> you can tell what he likes. Helps you, you know, sort of stay, stay alert and get out and have a walk. Exercise is, is probably the most Fantastic. important thing you can do. Well, look, I'm, 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 I'm going to top it off for you. Just a little bit of icing on the cake. We had Sheikh Mohammed Al Yakubi on the other week, last mm. week. It was the last week, the week before. And, he, and I asked him the same question. And, uh, you know, scholars, mashallah, they, they're able to summarize things a little bit easier than what we really need to give them a full list. It's just so simple. I said, is there one word? He said, just, he said, the word in Arabic is called shukr. And Rest there's another it. word in Arabic called shakawat. Mm. He said, one means complaining, the other means saying alhamdulillah. He said, do less shakawat and more oh, alhamdulillah. Shukr. Fantastic. Oh, well, listen, jazakallah khair for being with us and keeping us going. Alhamdulillah. Always great. Fantastic tips. Allah bless, inshallah. And uh, we, hope, you know, we, we hope that we can do proper stuff going forward because but at the moment we just need to keep people going mm. absolutely absolutely just just keep inshallah. going it, it will it Sabar. will come to an end in the end inshallah inshallah, inshallah. 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 Well, right the new fantastic norm. Inshallah. well look jazakallah khair to azi and uh, muhammad ghani our guest earlier on and all of you for watching and of course the team here are living the life from myself and from asif thank you very much and until inshallah. tomorrow evening same time same place stay safe assalamu alaikum live the life